doesn't change the past. It changes the future. And that's why our focus has to be on the future. And it begins every day repeatedly turning to God, repenting, seeking His direction, waiting for His timing. You know God will tell you a vision, right? He'll say, here's what we're going to do. And you'll say, okay, let's do it. And he'll say, not yet. And we get all excited and we try to go do it. And then he'll tell you how he's going to do it. And you'll say, okay, I know what we're going to do. I know how we're going to do it. I'm going to go do it. So if you're expecting something that you can do in your own power, that's not big enough for God. And then he'll wait a little while. He'll have a chasm, as he always does. And then he'll say, and here's my timing. You have to wait for his direction and his instructions and his timing. We cannot make, I don't usually make church uh, sermons about the church, but since we're having our meeting today, I thought I'd say this. We cannot make the church like it was in the 70s. I don't have a full-time music staff, a full-time pastor, a full-time secretary and sexton, likely full-time equivalent of youth leaders and volunteers. Between the wonderful secretary and music helpers and cleaners and me, we have less than 30 hours a week of staff time. And we don't have the 100 volunteers to operate and maintain the 70s church. It's a good vision of what it was in the past. And maybe we can get to something similar in the future, but not automatically. It actually takes more energy, not less, to rebuild and renew a congregation than it does to guide one that's in flight. Just like it takes more energy to launch a rocket into orbit or to help a plane take off it takes real power and skill to get that off the ground. But thankfully, Jesus knows how to do this. I've seen him do it. I've seen him build a church from scratch multiple times. I've seen him double a historic congregation just like ours in nine months, like a pregnancy, where you started with one person, now you've got two persons. Russ is uh, Hampshire plus one. Bring a friend, right? I've seen him take a congregation from 50 to 500, and over decades of working with and serving literally dozens of churches, I have learned to fully trust that God is the potter and we are the clay. Isaiah, I'll close with this, promises that the one sitting at the potter's wheel is not asleep at the wheel. The one that seems to be sleeping in the nave pew cushion is actually in charge. And for the rest of Lent, let's ask Jesus to keep leading us forward. We'll follow his example by joining in the classic hymn, number 258, At the Cross, At the Cross. Please rise and join. And did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would He devote that sacred head for sinners such as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Was it for crimes that I have done, he groaned upon the tree? Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love be on degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. 
It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Well might the sun in darkness hide and shut its glories in when Christ the mighty potter died for his own creature's sin. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can ne'er repay the debt of love I owe. Here, Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Beautiful. Amen. Please receive this blessing as we transition into our meeting time, and I'll let someone else come up here and take the, the tiller. From the Holy Scripture, the Apostle Paul said, May the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with the power and the joy of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Moderators, all yours. <laughs> 